Hey, welcome back. I'm Ellie. Oh, we're gonna build. <laughs> this is a bit aggressive. We're gonna build <laughs> this today. This is this is the Lego Friends Art School. This is Emma's art school. Emma is following her passion. Look at her and her little, especially embellished, tiny circle down there in the corner with Professor Beatrice and Felix. She's following her passion to art school in France. I think that's my guess. I'm guessing. It's my guessy guess. Why do we still have these push out tabs? I dislike them immensely. Can we just stop doing it? I just don't understand their point. Anyway, there are 844 pieces. I'm doing so well here. I'm staying really focused and on track. It's $110 here in Australia, $70 in America. And yeah, if, if I haven't got your price up there, just do a Google search to find out what price this set is close to you. So there are seven bags in here. Actually, yeah, seven bags, seven numbered bags, and a sheet of, oh, oh, I like, yeah, the case of, mm, yeah, like the canals, is that a French? Anyway, focusing, focusing, focusing. Uh, yeah, so instruction book, let's have a look. Right, let's have a look first up at the three mini dolls that come in this set. First up is Emma, of course, because it is technically her set. She has got a new top, which creates an overalls look out of this set with different colored shoulder straps, a little pocket on the front. I love I love it so much with a striped undershirt. It is so cute. It's a really, really cute overall dress. Uh, she's got her customary face and hair. That's how we know it's Emma, really. There's going to be no confusion. And she does have an accessory, the same accessory that all of the girls have got in their flagship sets. So this is Emma's and she is on the iPad to Stephanie, who's out yachting, busy sailing around the world. So they're all keeping connected through iPads, which is, well, you know, through FaceTime, which is just such a cute idea. I just, I'm loving everything about, this is a good 10th anniversary celebration, these individual sets themed for each of the girls. Anyway, next mini doll is Professor Beatrice, who comes in this bag with Emma. So they both come in bag number one. She is wearing an orange pantsuit, which are just <laughs> door orange and teal so she's got a gold belt around the middle high-waisted gold belt turquoise shoes and a matching statement necklace and the printing on this is just really beautifully detailed her face print is also a brand new one with big pink glasses frames and almost ginger eyebrows and her hair my goodness so I don't think we've seen this hair piece in this color before it's a really really high straight ponytail pulled up and I don't even know what color you call that anyway I'm gonna have to look that up. So also, let's just put the bike together, even though there is a third, because <laughs> I'm getting distracted today, even though there is a third mini doll. So there's a nice magenta bike and a bike helmet, and apparently it's Professor Beatrice who arrives here on the bike. She must get all that hair up under that helmet to make it so tidily put away. Let's give her her hair back, because the hairless helmets just look a little bit odd, but they are, they're important for safety. So third mini doll is a brand new male character, which is really exciting, has got the Nougat skin tone, a purple hoodie. I love this purple hoodie. How cute is it? <laughs> look at that, with his little squiggles on it. I love it. And his face print is really, really similar to like Ethan's face print, but obviously on a, on a different skin tone with a little bit of a chin addition. And yeah, so this is Felix. So a brand new character who's joining Emma in the art school with Professor Beatrice. And uh, Emma's eyebrows appear to have smudged just a little bit in the printing process. It's a bit hard to see on camera, but it's just tinily there. It's a little tiny imperfection. This makes life more interesting. Okay, so we've got our three mini dolls and the main event of this is the art school, but there are just a couple of little subsidiary builds and this is them. And they're two little matchy matchy easels, which can be portable, you know, taken around and they're taking them outside so that they can be painting the picturesque place that is, I'm assuming, Paris. Because of these canals, is this a Paris thing? Am I really, really way off? I don't know. So we've got two different, where does this go on? We've got two different versions of this same painting. It's obviously at different uh, artistic levels. So, or different artistic tastes. I mean, it just depends what you like too. So here we go. The same picture, two different ways. I love that. I love that little detail. Two different signatures on them too. I don't know whose signature belongs to whom. Okay, all right. Now, now we get on with the actual main attraction the art school and this art school I mean it just looks amazing on the box art it's almost like a mini modular in fact I reckon it would actually fit in quite nicely with the Lego expert creator modular sets the style of it as well I'm gonna have to check that out later so we've got a bike rack on the side the nice big door piece that's just been introduced this year 
for the entryway and there are just so many colors whacked on this but they're subdued by the fact that the main color scheme of this is is tan and white so it just means that you can yeah you can bling it out a bit with extra artistic colors so on the inside there's not a lot of room on the inside most of the interesting building is going to go on the actual building facade but do you remember the debacle that was the lego friends performance school quite a few years ago which was an amazing facade like really really detailed and on the inside there was almost nothing that's not happening here today the lego friends designers have just blown this out of the park it's just packed full of detail on the inside and on the out speaking of the outside this is really cool. So we're using dots pieces to create a mosaic kind of effect just here on either side of the front door. So it's really brightening up the whole front entryway. It's it's just a really cool detail and the fact that they're in a curved environment as well. Speaking of cool details, hello green clown hair pieces, which I'm just going to draw in the mini dolls because I am me and I have to, but we're going to take them off again because that looks absurd but fun, but absurd. And we're going to use them for their actual function, which is some really cute little sculpted bushes here on either side of the front doorway in bright green. Look at how good that looks. I just love that. All right, we're at the end of bag number one and we've got a few extra pieces, but nothing that we should not have. And we're up to bag number two. So we are flying along here. I have to remember right now that I must make mention of the fact that Lego sent me this set. I was very, very lucky to receive the set from them for, for free. Uh, but I obviously all opinions of the set are my own. And thank you so much, Lego. Please keep sending me sets. I love it. <laughs> please okay so we've got uh while i was busy making my my begging my begging plea we've got some autumnal leaves out the front there's a wrought ironwork black bit on the other side like a little fenced area and now we're putting some advertising signs out on the front front either side of the entryway so we've got uh photography happening got some pottery work that you can do on the inside and these are really really great sticker designs I'm just loving the graphic artwork on the stickers at the moment for the Lego friends sets now we're creating some really interesting textures on the wall with the sticky out white bits that's their technical name but yeah really good old-fashioned style architecture once again I just fail to know any architectural terms to actually describe what's going on here but I'm like this bit here which is creating a little ledge along the wall so plaster work maybe is what I don't know I don't know I won't pretend I know because I don't so more advertising as to what we can do inside the art school you can do dressmaking or costume making painting as well some nice traditional uh, visual arts studies look yeah this again over here on this side that's just I mean it's just such a simple detail but it makes it not one big flat wall it turns it into something much more interesting okay on the inside putting some actual stuff in here first thing you need at an art school is coffee machine <laughs> first thing you need at any school is a coffee machine so we've got a really cute little turquoise one here a couple of very vibrant mugs there color coded so you don't mix up which one's yours and a sink like just a nod to a sink with the glass bit on the side oh it's not a sink i'm lying it's actually storage for treats which is so much better than a sink Woo. so there's a croissant and chocolate so for a for a pan au chocolat yeah i'm sure we're in france i'm sure we are and these lockers i'm really i'm sure we've seen this sticker design before maybe on the school I'll have to go back and have a little look I mean lockers look like lockers right so but it'd be good because that way I could use them to expand my school anyway so we have actually got stored well to be stored in the in the lockers a helmet and a pair of red roller skates and I reckon that the intention is that this is the way Felix gets to art school yeah he's a poor struggling art student he cannot afford the train fare so he has to leg it there or you know skate it there so there's an apple in the top <laughs> an apple in the top uh, locker don't know who that belongs to I'm gonna I mean it'd be Emma right that'd make perfect sense so that's her lunch like I said poor struggling art student lucky they've got chocolate and croissants in the kitchen so here's a sink over here right next to the actual lockers so that's cool that's handy and I just had a thought this has to be one of the very few Lego friend sets that doesn't have a bathroom in it <gasps> no I don't remember seeing a bathroom anywhere oh 
I mean, who needs a bathroom, really? I do. <laughs> okay, this is what we have at the end of bag number two. We're up to bag number three, and it's already looking so bright and colourful, but not cluttered and over colourful. Is that a word? Is that a thing? Over done. It's not. It's really not. So I don't know what we're building here, but it's interesting. I'm going to pay attention to making sure that I get all the bits on in the right order. So we've got a blue tile bit. It looks like, kind of looks like an entryway, but now it looks like a box. And this has got some Technic pins on. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. This is for above the front door of the entryway. This is the big art school sign. Look at that. So it's the beginnings, beginnings of the art school sign. We're leaving that for now and we're moving now into the inside of the second story of the art school. So there's a spinny bit in this little, little section here. Oh, okay. So now we get down into the nitty gritty of the actual things that are offered here to study at the art school. So we've got a dressmaking section in the middle with a torso there with a Definitely a costume top on there. That's one of the tops that we saw on the Magical Fun Fair. Acrobat Stella, I think. I think it was that. But that's perfect for this. It's like a creative-y kind of avant-garde style. And on the outside, we are making really, really nice, interesting, and quite tricky building techniques for a Lego Friends set. And this is the direction I want to see Lego Friends go in. You know, more advanced building, because Lego Friends fans have grown up. I mean, they continue to grow up. So yeah, this one is a much more tricky build than we have seen ever, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's good though. It is, it is definitely like a mini modular. There's quite a lot of techniques going on in here. Right, so we've got a curved window, big display window in the very middle. I just love the design of this, the architecture of this. This is what we've got at the end of this bag. Lots and lots of extra bows and pieces, as you tend to. And now we're up to bag number four. So let's put some walls on here. We'll get Professor Beatrice in too, just so we can see how... I mean, there's not a lot of room inside, but there is enough. So a big artwork on the outside of the walls, which just, yeah, make it look so vibrant from a distance. Getting on the wall tops here, all getting them to the same height, and the, <laughs> put these back, back around the wrong way. I needed to turn the map in the direction that I was actually driving or building. <laughs> Silly me. Now, this is the storage for some of the sewing stuff. So I reckon that's like a, you know, bolt of material or some ribbon. A couple of these studs with holes in them, which look like bobbins, sewing machine bobbins. So I think that that's their purpose here. And in the corner, on top of this set of drawers, we are building a sewing table. So the little black cheese wedge is actually the sewing the sewing machine pedal, which is such a cute detail. Lego has made so many different styles of sewing machines over the years, so I'm curious to see, once again, a different way to build a sewing machine. So this one has got an ice skate on it as the foot, <laughs> sewing machine foot, and apart from that, it's just nice and very sleek looking. So this is the bobbin, well, the thread on the top and the turny wheelie thing on the side. That's its technical name, the turny wheelie thing. And there we go. So you can't actually put material under that, but that's not the intention with this particular design. Anyway, a seat here that you can pop off and move around wherever you would like to put it. And on this, on this piece, on the outward facing studs, we make a mosaic using the dots technique. So combining dots ideas with a Lego friend set, incorporating them into so many different sets now. So this is quite tedious, but it can also be very mindful. You just relax into it and not think about the fact that you're just doing lots and lots of repetitive putting on, but we'll put them on in the correct place so that it's not so repetitive that I have to take them off again and fix it. I'm trying to get those lined up and they're just not working. Anyway, the lime green ones are not quite circular in the middle, but I'm going to ignore it because it's, it's art. It's my interpretation. <laughs> art shouldn't, you know, have to be perfect. It should just make you feel something. <laughs> it makes me feel really annoyed that they're not lined up properly. Now, this is a little ruler piece. And on these study bits, we're putting some, uh, putting things on the wrong place. We're putting some, yeah, some reels of thread and then attaching it to the wall. I mean, there's a lot packed into a little tiny corner here. So that's the sewing side. On this side, we're going to have a little pottery working area. So we've got the, 
uh, what do you call it? Shelving, I suppose. Shelving with the, I'm going to assume that this is the unglazed pottery or the stuff waiting there to be fired, maybe. So there's a teapot there and a white bowl. They've got no color on them yet. So yeah, maybe they're waiting for their glazing. And we have already had a version of a turning pottery wheel with an Emma set in the past. It was really, really yeah, it was primo. It was a really great build. This is an alternative style build of the same thing. So let's see whether this one outranks the other one or whether it's just, you know, same but different. I mean, how many different ways can you make the same thing? Well, in Lego, lots, really. That's the whole point. So we've got the two little gears all lined up together. I like that rock piece, which is actually just an, supposed to be a lump of unformed clay. I don't know what the silver cup is. Is it for water or something like that. Somebody who actually does pottery, please tell me in the comments because I don't know, but it all looks very, very slick and it fits in really, really nicely. There's already more in this, <laughs> in this art school than there is in the actual high school <laughs> for the Lego friends, which was a bit sparsely uh, funded, I think. So this is what we have at the end of this bag. Lots and lots of little tiny spare pieces and we're up to bag number five and there is a whole nother level to go on to this. So many more things to study. I'm excited. So we've got another bay window are lined up beautifully with the one down the bottom and we are creating the same we're doing the same sort of building as we are well as we did for the second level so I'm just going to pre-make a whole heap of these yeah these these bits because we've done them we've done them down the bottom they're they're the same but just the the windows are different colors actually I forgot to note that they're all of these window frames with the window boxes are in different colors isn't that so cute and it would look untidy except like I mentioned before, all the other colors are very muted in tan and white. So having those pops of colors, doesn't, it just doesn't look wrong. It looks really, really great. So here we go. The outside of this is, we're just doing it super quickly because it's just the same as the second level. <laughs> look, we're up to bag number six already. It's magical. Okay, wall time. And this sticker is gonna add a whole heap of detail to this wall. So we've got a whole heap of books and a yellow submarine, which is weird, which makes me wonder whether that's going to be a little clue for a future. I've got my finger all over it uh, for future sets, but we only really just had a submarine really for the Lego friends when they did their underwater adventures. So that's curious. I'll be interested to see if a yellow submarine turns up later. Here we have got a computer desk and it's quite high because it's designed to be Stood at, stand at, stood, stand at, at stood, stood, stood at. I was right, I was correct the first time round, and it's got double monitors on it, so it's a graphic. It's for doing graphic art. So we've got a watermelon on there, which looks like it's good friend with the fluffy lemon from the uh, from the graphic artist area. In in oh gosh, what it was called in the you know all the apartment buildings, the Lego friend apartment building, and we've got a loading minifigure on the other monitor. So there's a lot going on here. A flower for the middle, which is nice. Nice vase design, bit, bit different to what we've seen before with the added leaf section on it. And here next to the computer, that's the mini. Oh, okay. So that we've got a mini mini figure and this is um, that you're 3D printing it. This is cool. High tech. Nice. This is <laughs> and then you can paint it, I suppose. So it's another way of sculpting. So they've got their 3D art going on there as well. Okay. Oh, and we've got more outward facing studs. So we're going to be making another mosaic for the outside of that wall. But first up, we've got to get all these top bits on. Now we're doing our mosaic. So once again, like the previous one on the second level, I mean, you can change this up. You can do it the way Legos told you to do it initially, but then you can just mix it up and make the artwork different each week if you want, or just use whatever dots pieces you have to, yeah, make whatever you want to make, whatever your heart desires. So let's get all of these in the right configuration. So it makes a pattern at least. <laughs> and this, wow. Okay, big panel piece with clips at the top. I don't know whether this is brand new, but I certainly don't have any like this. This is great. And it's going to be creating a big artwork or like an artwork display. Let's go and pop it in place anyway. So there's the mosaic and on the inside is where we clip our big artwork. It's like a backdrop maybe? Maybe it might be, or maybe this is a little gallery area. Oh, hold on. What do we still have down on the front that they advertise we haven't done yet? We haven't done, we haven't done any uh, photography. So this is going to be the photography studio. 
This is cool. So there's our nice big light. So studio light, which currently is facing directly into our eyes, which is just the way we like it. And here's our camera on a stand. Yeah. So there's a spot in front of that backdrop for you to put whatever you want there uh, to be photographing. And there's an extra, extra lens on the side table too. Oh my gosh. And this is what we have left over at the end of this bag. And we've still got one bag left to go. And this bag, I mean, the inside is packed out pretty much as full as it can be. I mean, look at it. It's full of details. It's really, really great. It is, I have no complaints about, yeah, this is, yeah, I'm loving this to pieces, absolute bits. Now, the rest of this bag is actually to create, well, most of it is to create the top architectural structure, which is really striking. And I'm just going to zoom through this because it's not so interesting to watch putting all these little tiny pieces on, but take note of the fact that there are lots of little tiny pieces and lots and lots of actual thinking that needs to go on to make sure everything goes in the right place. So this is, yeah, this is quite a tricky part of the build, but very satisfying and also very symmetrical. So it's not that hard. It's just, it's just a little bit more time consuming. You don't have lots of big pieces to create the structure really fast, but look at how gorgeous that looks. So this goes up on the top. Where does it go? It goes back a little bit there, fits in beautifully. And there's still space on the front to continue making that architectural structure. So we're echoing what we have behind, but now we've got a place for a big clock there, quarter past 12. And down here, we just, just, you know, randomly go down there to put that little tiny bit on, but there's still more sconce work going on up here. I mean, I feel as though we're missing some gargoyles. It's been modernized. We don't have any gargoyles lurking up here, but I think we could probably do with some. I might add some gargoyles. No, I think that might be a bit too gothic <laughs> for this look. And for the actual feature for the front of the art school, we've got a big buildable pencil and a big buildable brush, which is amazing. That was really, really hard to say. Big buildable brush. It's a lot and a lot of bees. And the art school sticker is on over the door and it looks amazing and modern and bright, but not too bright. And all we have left to do is put in a bit of foliage. I mean, what is a Lego set without some foliage? So we've got an autumnal tree, which is going to be situated over here on the side in that little wrought iron area next to the school. How nice is that? This is a piece, it's a set of beauty. It really is yeah, it really is fantastic. I want to see more Lego Friends sets like this. I hope these are not just what we're seeing for the 10th anniversary, though I'm very thankful we're seeing some fantastic, more complex, really sophisticated sets like this for the 10th anniversary, but I also want to see more. I want more. Now, did you want to see what this looked like next to the theatre? Because they are of actually a similar height. And even design-wise, they fit in quite nicely together. So interested to see how these are going to work situated into, yeah, into a city. This is so cool. All right, so excited to build the rest of the sets of the wave one at a time. Oh, all right, okay. Now, could you please tell me in the comments what your thoughts are on the set? <laughs> Subscribe and click the notification bell if you haven't already done so, and check back in because there are more builds coming up soon. I'm so excited. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.